Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for another PC game early access video. And the game we're looking at this time is called Killing Floor 2. Uh, it is currently on sale on Steam right now, and I'm playing it as a free weekend. Every so often, Steam has these... Um, you know, these free weekends where you can try out a game and then usually corresponding with that, uh, the game is on sale. So I thought, you know what? Killing Floor looked kind of interesting. Uh, or Killing Floor 2 looked kind of interesting. Let's check it out. Now, I have played the original Killing Floor um, way back in the day. Uh, it came out several years ago, around the, s around the same time that Left 4 Dead came out. And Killing Floor is kind of this weird... It's like a wave-based survival game, except you're not in one area. There's like these giant maps where you're fighting in one area, you kill a wave, and then you have to hurry up and try to go to a certain point in the map where you kind of rebuild your supplies and everything, and that's timed. And then, so in between, you you know you resupply, and then the next wave comes. Well. You know, it, it was kind of, you know, people were comparing it to Left 4 Dead just because it had zombies in it, and it was, you know, it was kind of before, you know, every other game under the planet, or on the planet, had zombies in it. And Jawbreaker and I played it a little bit back in the day um, with another friend of ours, and we, we played it a little bit, but it just didn't have the same, I mean, I know it's not meant to be the same thing as Left 4 Dead, but we were just so, so hardcore hooked on Left 4 Dead that um, we just never really got into it all that much. I've seen a little bit of uh, footage for Killing Floor 2, and it, they've really amped up the presentation and just the gameplay in general um, in Killing Floor 2. So we're taking a look at it here, and... Right now, I just, uh, before recording this, I've played about two or three different matches. I'm sort of, kind of getting the hang of the game, but, you know, really new to it. Uh, it's mainly based on, of course, multiplayer, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of me just trying to learn things, I'm playing the solo campaign. Well, solo mission anyway. Basically, you choose a map, you choose a couple of other options like your difficulty and time limit and things like that well and the funny thing is i'm playing on normal which is the easiest difficulty and it is freaking hard already um because what i'm surprised at is you know it's not a left for dead game you don't have the ai bots filling in for you if you are um by yourself so <laughs> It's all you, and it, shit gets crazy real fast. So on the top here, um, we do have a traditional main, traditional main menu, which is really clear, really easy to see, not bad at all. Um, but I figured we'd start in here because I kind of like this character, and I don't know how. Um, like you said, I said I like this kind of character that I've got here, and I've you know kind of got everything set the way I like it for now, and. You know, we've got our main menu here, we've got like our options, our, you know, we can get do options, control, we can quit. Um, I really, really want, really want to like this game. And to an extent, I'm really starting to dig it. There's one major problem that I will demonstrate to you very shortly though. As a low vision gamer, um, remember when I said each wave, between each wave, you have a certain amount of time to resupply. That is true. However, this limited time, it is not much. And as a low vision gamer, when I show you the kind of stats screen, and that there is just a ton of stuff you can upgrade, like... You can upgrade attributes for different things, you can upgrade weapons, you can upgrade, like... There's all kinds of nonsense. So, uh, it until I, I think really, if you're a low vision gamer, like if you read slowly, this is going to be a major problem for you. You almost have to like take a screenshot of every little thing 
and kind of look at them away from the game to be able to go, okay, these are the type of upgrades I want for this character. And there are different types of characters you can play as. Um, so there's like a lot of stuff to upgrade. Um, but it's, I'll show you here and then I'll talk more about it. Let's get into a match. I like this because she's kind of seems to be focused on melee. And it's going to go crazy. So we are in this city streets right now. And we're going to get some killer heavy metal here. I'm kind of digging the whole just like crazy heavy metal here. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to talk during this because it gets crazy fast. Zombies. Well, I hear him. Mm. This game is really bloody, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. Oh, that is so good. One thing I will say, even like with the melee or the guns, but especially the melee, it has this visceral feeling like... Now finish the job. Uh, this game just, it feels really good, like, the impact, and, you know, you just see the, the camera just jerking around a little bit, like, just, mm, you feel the impact, it's so good, especially in slow-mo, I'm not sure exactly what triggers that, but, mm, oh, here we go, watch this, Doosh. oh, it's so good, I love, man, like, guns are fun, but guns you gotta reload, man. I know it sucks to get close to him, but like, I love getting up in their grill. Like, even in Left 4 Dead, you remember when I did the original uh, Let's Play series for Left 4 Dead 1 and 2? Like, you get. You get the. Uh, uh, fire axe and just go to freaking town. Alright, so now you see this. This beam here. It's telling us where to go. This is guiding us to our uh, upgrade area thingy so we're gonna follow this we're gonna open this door and then I'll show you where we have the problem you the money. Now spend it. all right so we're gonna go in here now here is like you got a whole bunch of upgrades here got a bunch of stuff on the right but then you even have you have all these different categories here and then you have all these I, like I said I have to do this really fast I can't go slow here um, but I can, you know, like, you have favorites. If I like something, I can put it in there. But there's so much to upgrade, and I don't have time to really read it all. Like, if you have perfect vision, sure, it's great. Um, th I did find there's kind of a, like, an auto-update thing. Um, auto-fill, which does stuff. I don't know if it really does anything for over here, though. That's the thing is I'm just kind of upgrading, I think, this stuff over on the right-hand side. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time to be reading all this, so that is all the time that I have. That's all the time that I have in between rounds. And then you're just kicked out, and you're back in. So, I mean, I love the combat so far. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, I might, you know, I'll whip out a gun eventually to show you guys, but... Um, oh, geez, these guys... Oh, oh it's, I, I love that slow-mo, guys. It's just so good. Holy shit, it's dark. I do have a flashlight, or like an infrared kind of thing here. Oh. Yeah, there are plenty left. Come on, suck it down. All right, now I am... I am not doing so well health-wise here. Uh-oh, yeah, fuck... All right, I gotta stab myself with a needle and inject some health into the situation here. Turn my flashlight off because it's bright. And now I'm on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the slow-mo. Oh, we got a boomer. At least I call him a boomer. I can't see a frickin'... Th oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, okay, I stabbed myself. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah, um... Oh, I don't have any things left. I could really use some health somehow. And I'm on fire again. That's bloody fantastic. Oh, fucking die. Die. There we go. So, like, the combat itself is, I think, really good. They've really, really beefed it up. The original just... There's, you know, like I said, I compared the original to Left 4 Dead, and I just really didn't think... 
I didn't think that it felt really that great, to be honest with you. Okay, I can. Um, okay, I go this way. Yeah, I need... Well, I stuck myself with something. Here we go. Alright, so we've got health again. Now, when I do the auto upgrade, what I'm not sure about... I don't know if I get more med kits, you know, or a little more, like, hypos or whatever. Um, I'm just going to do auto upgrade real quick, again, just because. So if I go over to, like, here's my category for field medic. Um... Can I... Sure, let's just buy some stuff. Um... And I don't have enough for anything else, so... I don't know. Um... I can switch different weapons here. Uh... Ooh. Time's almost up. Let's see what else do we got. Okay, here's my gun. So, like I said, I like guns, but, you know, I've tried... I did try one other character that had a... Sh I think he had, like, a shot gun or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this area, because it's just too confined. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, oh, okay, let's see what this does. I want to get where I can move around a little more. Oh, nice! Oh, man, I want to slow-mo somebody. Uh-oh. No, fuck this. Alright. Yeah, back to melee again. I don't have to reload melee. Alright, stab myself. Here we go. Okay, I don't know what we're fighting here. We're just fighting a whole bunch of weird mutant zombie things. The tentacles and shit on them. Turn my light on again. Let's get the heck... Oh, jeez! Hi, how you doing? Okay, we got, you know what, let's just get on the stairs, go outside. Or, okay, we're gonna go here. Oh, you know what, actually, if we keep him in the tunnel here, maybe we can just... Oh, jeez, from behind. Kill it! Oh, yeah! Alright, I think the farthest wave I've got is three so far, so I think I've gotten pretty much uh, as far as I've ever gotten so far. Um, I like the melee. I like the melee for this character. Um, we're gonna follow to another upgrade station. I'm gonna hit Q again. Stab myself. And hopefully... I'm, I'm gonna go in here. So they move it every time. You, you can't just camp out in one part of the level. That's one thing that they try to get you to do. So... Again, I can buy that again. Let's see what that does. Oh, can't buy that. All right, well, autofill again. Why not? We're almost out of time. Make oh, okay. Well, it won't let me do anything. All right, well, whatever. All right. So, oh, okay. Got a different... Oh, like a pl almost like a plasma rifle, it sounds like. I can aim down the sights. So, you know, you do have your different weapon classes sort of stuff, which is good. Last chance. I'll I shoot a few rounds pod. of this. Until I get overwhelmed and inevitably overwhelmed and inevitably switch back to my melee again and just cleave guys. Um, but they do have you know the different. They're not just zombies. There's specialty stuff. You've seen like the there's like the boomer kind of zombie. There's uh, ones that just make some screaming and attract other ones. There is like this big bastard that shoots like shoots stuff at you. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Reload. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah, see, you gotta reload so often. Fuck this. Uh. Save that for, like, if somebody's shooting at me. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go all in Jackie Chan here. And just start cleaving stuff up here. Oh, man. Okay, this is not paying. Oh, Jesus. You. Give me health, give me health, give me health. Oh shit. Oh, oh yeah, slow mo. Oh, it's so good. That that never gets old. That's like my favorite thing in this game so far. Just the slow mo, just decapitating everybody. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Heal me. 
Yes! Yes! It's so good. Keep it up. When you're done, Hell yeah. I can oh, man! Wow. <laughs> well, I almost got to the end of that wave, but I, you know, I can see where, like I said, playing this... I haven't even scratched the surface with, like, skills and weapon upgrades or anything like that. Partly because <laughs> you have to get far enough in the waves before you can... Uh, before you can do upgrades, you know? Um, you have to get... Before you get every kill you get, and I think it's based on style and things like that, or what weapons you use, I'm not sure. Still trying to figure all that out, but, um, you know, you have to play a while before you get some of the really nice upgrades, but it seems like each class has some different um, things that you can, uh, that you can, uh, you can, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Specialized, there we go. <laughs> Uh, that you can specialize in, and, uh, you know, like I said, it is still early access, but I like where it's going so far. Again, the main problem that I have <laughs> is that I can't really just sit, uh, I can't really just sit in the, you know, in the menus, uh, the upgrade screens. I mean, I know if you're, especially if you're playing multiplayer, you want to keep things moving, you don't want to have some guy, you know, like, that's like when I played Borderlands and stuff. It's like, the thing that was frustrating about that game, or that series, and those types of games, and any kind of thing where you have to manage a lot of equipment, a lot of stats, a lot of, you know, all that kind of stuff, is that so much of your, your time, you know, you have to stop playing every once in a while, or sometimes quite often, and then you're sitting there trying to... Okay, well, I gotta figure out what I want to upgrade. Do I want to keep this? My inventory is getting too full. I gotta figure out what I want to sell, what I want to, you know, what I want to store, what I want to get rid of, what do I do here? And it just slows the pace of the game down, you know. So, you know, Jawbreaker and I, when we play Borderlands, we would play for a while, and you know, we would do a little bit of the management, but then we would actually, <clears throat> you know, in between play sessions, we would actually just try to manage a lot more of that stuff on our own because we could go into a game with our characters and still do that uh, but then be ready for the next time we play so let's play one more uh, let's play one more round here um, but I, I wish there was a way I wish there was a way um, to, like even if it's a different mode or like a you know, have like a safe practice mode or something where you're not timed and you can go through and look at the, th the thing. Time to play. I understand, like I said, I totally understand it from a multiplayer perspective. You want to keep things moving. But from an accessibility standpoint, especially, um, it's something that I have trouble with. I don't like things where, you know, even I've talked about in games where you're, you have the story or whatever presented as text and the text just auto advances you know i like where you're given the box of dialogue and then you have to hit a or have to click a button in order for the text to progress um from an accessibility standpoint uh oh man i'm not doing very well i'm blabbing too much and not gutting these guys enough here oh come on let's kill this guy yes so good um yeah, just auto-advancing text or time limits for reading any kind of print in general is one of the things that really can kill a game for me. I mean, Killing Floor 2, it looks fantastic, actually. I I, I really like the look. I mean, it's kind of got this, like... It, there's, it's, it, there's a lot of color. Even though things are kind of wrecked all to crap... Like, look at all the color, you've got neat, you know, you've kind of got the neon glow of stuff. And I should mention, if you do use guns and all that, like, you can, um, you can kill your lighting, you know? If you shoot out a neon sign or whatever, it's not going to be there, you know? And then you have to fight in the dark or turn your flashlight on. Uh, let's do an auto update just to see what happens. And I can't buy any more, alright, so, well, we'll just live with that and see what happens. I'm not going to heal just yet until I get, um, 
red around the corner of my screen, although sometimes that's a little too late. Um, Time's almost up. Let's see. But, if, yeah, like, if I were to go... I should... Should be able to... Oh, because I'm not in gun... Or I'm not in the... Time's up. Yeah. Go kill some Zeds. Some Zeds, that's what she calls them. Okay. I don't know if that'll break or not. Well, all right, fuck. Here we go. Let's just cut some dudes. But it will happen. I was there, and like a guy, one of the boomer guys exploded, and I was next to some underground signs down there by like some subways, and I just, it went totally dark. So can I wreck the bus stop? Mm. I can't, like I said, it's cheesy, but I'm kind of digging the heavy metal, just like. Horde mode, survive. Uh, there are different modes. I'm playing survival right now. I don't even know what, what all modes are going to be in the full game. But, oh man, I can't see a damn thing. I can't see a damn thing. I got puked on. I got puked on. Okay, it's clearing up. Here we go. Give me a slow-mo. Yes. Doosh. So good. I love that slow-mo. That is my favorite thing in this game so far. Kill it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Kill it again. Come on. Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, let's run away a little bit here. Let's take... Uh, look at what we got here. Hey, quit leaping at me, bugger. No. Yeah, nearly cleared it out. Alright, we're going to get some more specials next round, so I got to be on my toes here. Oh, yeah. Boom. Whew, all right, let's go uh, auto update again or uh, auto upgrade and um, Like I said, this is just a brief look at the game. This is not uh, this is early access still so there is all that but Okay, yeah, it is up here. Okay, good um, I'm not even covering like probably I'm just covering a small percentage of what this game is, probably. I know there's different modes, there's different classes, there's different, just so many different types of upgrades. Um, let's see, can I upgrade any of my weapons? Well, I don't want that. I, I like melee, man. Um, yeah, see, look at this. There's so many weapons I can buy, I can upgrade. I would, I should really try to, I should really try to buy a shotgun. But, all right, well, that's good enough for now. Let's... Zeds are getting closer. I'm going to keep playing my melee here. I'm going to get somewhere maybe in the open again. I don't want to... Break time's over. Get back here to we work. go. More Zeds inbound. Yeah, I mean, it's a good-looking game. Um, and like I said, I, I like the fact that there's actually color. That is just so, so... Mi oh, here we go. That is so missing in games today. Holy shit, I can't see again. I can't see again. Can't see. Okay, here we go. Good. What do we got here? I know they're coming. I haven't even had to use a, a heal thing yet, so... I know I'm gonna have to... Oh, see, what the hell is that? I've got a shockwave dude here. Holy shit, what is that guy? Yeah! Slow-mo, kill this guy. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, we, we got an invisible guy? Is that what that is? What the hell is it? Okay. Ow! Hell yeah, I got crazy skills. Check this out. Bash your face. Ah, uh, so good. I love the melee in this. Yeah, I mean, this... Compared to what I thought of the first game, I mean... Killing 4 and 1 had some interesting potential, but I just never got into it. But if I could somehow like be able to do the upgrades and stuff the way I, oh geez, the way I wanted to, running time, um, I would kind of maybe get into this. I could kind of see playing this with Jawbreaker and uh, one or two of our other friends. Oh god, get away from me. Get away from me, you weird spidery whatever the hell you are. Okay. Oh geez, somebody's shooting... Yeah, I'm burning, I'm burning. Um, 
Who the hell is shooting me and what are you shooting at me? Oh god, that that is not good. Holy shit. You! Cleave you, cleave you, cleave you. Oh man. Oh man, I got wrecked. Okay, we got that wave done. God, I kind of want to get a gun, but like I said, especially we're getting more guys, like, just the fact of having to reload, you're kind of a sitting duck, especially when I don't have anybody to cover me. I'm kind of just going to keep going melee because I don't have to, you know, she doesn't seem to really get tired. So, I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um... I would probably experiment more with weapons if I had somebody covering my back. Out of time. Make your choices. Um, but I, yeah, I think this is just the way I'm going to have to play right now. But I, we're going to end the video after this, uh, after this session or when I die here. But yeah, there's some really interesting potential here. And... Time's almost up. Vite. Yeah, I just would. I wish I could use the upgrade screen a little bit easier. Uh, that's my main complaint. Otherwise, Back to it, mes amis. yeah, Killing Floor Two. I, I kind of want to explore other levels. I kind of want to explore um, other characters. You know, see what they've got. But so I'm kind of dig. Oh, what the hell? Oh, geez, that does not sound good at all. That sounds like I need a gun. Whatever the hell, I hear somebody growling, but I can't really see anything because I'm puked. I'm just, oh, Jesus Christ, that guy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, oh, I don't have any freaking ammo for that. Shit. All right, yeah, see here? Kill you guys. Give me slow-mo. Holy shit, give me slow-mo. Oh my God. Ow. Hurdy, you're hurting me. Oh man, I need help. Kill it. I really need slow-mo so I can beat the shit out of this guy. Alright, you know what? I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Ow is right. Ow. Mm, ow. Kill this guy. Ugh! I'm so gonna die here, aren't I? Um the hell away from me, man. Oh, God. Okay. Frick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Kill it. Holy shit. This guy takes a lot of damage, and I'm... Okay, I need more health. Ow. Oh man, yeah, we got we I need backup here something fierce. So now I can't see again. Yeah, this game just gets crazy. Uh, odds are really stacked against you if you I, I I don't know how many waves there are in one of these matches, but oh kill it, kill this big Oh, did I No, I didn't. Finish the last one. Fuck. So I can open the trader pod for you. Man, that big guy is just bad news. I need like a really powerful gun. Or I need somebody else with a powerful gun, and then I can take on all the other little guys myself. But yeah, this game is not meant to be played by yourself. I wonder if they are going to add bots in for the final version, but whew, yeah, that was something. Um, but yeah, so that's Killing Floor 2 in early access form. I'll exit back to the title screen here. And to show you that, so you got your, like I said, you got across the top, you've still got all your stuff here. You know, your main menu, um, all, like, all the stuff that was in the other place there. And then you've got your different ways to play. So you can do an online match, you can do play solo. I'll show you the solo options here. So I can choose a map. That's the map I was playing before. Um... What are mo okay, so all we have is survival right now. Um, like I said, I don't know what other modes are going to be in the final build, the final version, but uh, yeah, maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe some King of the Hill stuff or 
be interesting to see what modes they have. If I go to <laughs> difficulty, yeah, normal. <laughs> there is no easy. And normal is kind of hard by yourself. So there you go. Um, I will upload this actually pretty much right away and post it. I, yeah, I might even post it. I might even just upload it and like let it go up right away. Just a little bit ahead of Saturday. But since there is a free weekend, if you guys do want to check it out, you can get in on the last day or so of the trial to see if this is something you might want to play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, since it is early access, it might be something that I would, I might have to consider asking the developers, uh, about a mode or about something to try to make some of those upgrade areas more accessible to low vision players. Cause the text itself isn't so terrible. Um, it's, you know, there's decent contrast. It's decent, you know, okay size um, but when you have trouble reading print and you can't read print very quickly um, I don't know maybe it's like what a minute two minutes between waves um, <laughs> you have to be able to read that stuff really fast and I suppose it's not so bad once you get you know, like I said once you know where stuff is and you know what upgrades you generally like to go for with as you learn your character um, but yeah, I'm hoping that there's a way to explore that a little bit easier uh, without a time limit. So yeah, who knows? You know, maybe I'll give them a, you know, contact them and just you know see what they can do. Um, otherwise, it's fun. The melee combat feels really good. I've played before. I recorded. I played with other guns. I had like a pretty nice assault rifle. Uh, I played with a shotgun a little bit once, and that had some punch. Um, you know, I had that little laser, I had the pistol, and then I had that little laser gun early on during the video. So, yeah, there seems to be uh, a good variety even in this uh, early build, but, yeah, Killing Floor 2, available on Steam right now. I forget what it is, um, I forget what the full price is, but it's 33% off right now and a free weekend, so I'll upload this right away and uh, let you guys check it out and maybe you want to try the game for yourself so that is killing floor 2 like the video subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter at bgfh79 hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video until next time i'll talk to you guys again later